this refrigerator sat on my patio for quite a while, so I decided to fix it. It's a nice little refrigerator, but the electrical part of it went down, so we'll fix that. Luckily, you've got a schematic diagram and some numbers to go by, but you won't really need that. You're going to order a part for it uh, off the internet, and that part is going to look something like this. And then it'll explain how to connect it. We'll go over that. With the unit unplugged, you want to first get in there and get that cover off and get in your hand the actual block after you pull it off of the compressor. You can see that there are a number of wires connecting uh, the, the block together. This particular shot's a really good one because you can see exactly the wires that you're going to need to connect to the device you're going to purchase uh, somewhere, maybe off the internet, whatever. Uh, they're made uh, pretty easy to work with. Uh, the only thing you're really going to be concerned for, other than pushing the correct pins onto the compressor, is to connect here the two black wires that are coming out of the unit that you purchase. Now, as you look at this block a little more carefully, you see on the left-hand side there is a brown wire and a black wire. And behind them, there's another brown wire that takes off and goes to the existing capacitor that you're not going to need. So take a pair of needle nose pliers, and that's the first wire that you pull out of that block, that brown wire that's going to the capacitor. I'm only talking about higher. You may be dealing with something different from higher. So this little thing, you're going to get rid of this, this entire block. You don't need it after this. Now, the two wires left in the foreground there, the left-hand brown wire and the black wire, those are going to come together as a pair for one of the black wires you're going to connect to to the actual unit of replacement. Uh, and, and that unit contains uh, also the not only a relay but a capacitor. So you're replacing almost everything. Now, more to the right here of the center in the foreground, you see the white wire and behind it a blue wire. The color coding is specific again to this unit. It may be different than something else you're working on, so I can't speak to that. If you were to do a continuity test, you'd find that the white wire and the blue wire do connect in that block. So you're going to pull the blue wire that you see in the foreground and connect to the white wire. That's what you're going to end up doing. There's another blue wire on the other side that connects to the pin, one of the pin sockets. You're not going to need it because that's a capacitor. So the unit you're purchasing replaces all of that. Uh, it's already done as soon as you uh, push the pins onto the compressor. Now the black wire you see on the right side on the top is not needed. And what you're going to do is take your pliers, pull that off. It's on there quite well. Tape it up and you'll see it free standing in just a second when we assemble the whole thing. That's basically it. That's all you need. So when you wind up, you want to end up with the exactly the type of connections you see here. The brown is going to the two blacks. There's this free black wire that goes nowhere by itself. And then the blue and the black and the white go together on the other side. Now this is going to pertain only to this higher. That's it. Tape it all up. And you're ready to go. Just leave the starting capacitor in there. You don't need to remove it. This is the thermostat uh, processing unit. Very expensive to replace. You'll know if it's working pretty fast. 